If you like P pumps and big cubic inches, this video's for you. On our competition engine, we want it as big as possible. Cubic inches are awesome. Turbo spool easier, make more power. It's just better. And the easiest way to get cubic inches in a Cummins is with the 6.7 liter block, because it starts bigger. It's like a big block Chevy, this is a big block Cummins. Problem is, is none of those came with P-pumps. You cannot bolt your P-pump on a 6.7. To do that, you have to have a special, well, I have to have a gear case, something that adapts the P-pump to your truck. And so uh, when we started this, there was a couple companies that offered a gear case set to put the P-pump on our truck. And we actually used one of those our first year in UCC, and it worked really well. But as we uh, went on, we, we found there's a few things we wanted to change. And I'm gonna kind of walk you through the development that we did in building this gear case cover. So what this does, it allows you to put a P-pump, Sigma pump, P8600, any inline P-pump on a common rail block, whether that be a 5.9 or a 6.7. If you can go to all the expense and effort of this, I'd probably recommend doing a 6.7 because I like them better myself. So, if, if you remember, we put a few videos out recently, uh, a little while ago now. We were having some engine issues. We were blowing up camshafts. Uh, we were just breaking them, and that was with our old cover. And we learned that we needed to support the cam shaft. So what we did is in the cover itself, we put this, you see how this is all cut out and machined to accept this guy here. What this does is it accepts, it accepts this guy here. So this bolts to the front of your camshaft and then is in this bearing here where it can, is supported. So once we did this, we no longer broke camshafts. It was awesome, our camshaft problem went away. The next thing we broke was the gear. Well, great, so we have a problem, we have a broken gear. So, the gear, this is the one that I broke, right here. Uh, this was made from West Germany, right there. The gear, we found out later that actually the German gear is an older gear and it is prone to breakage. Didn't know that before I broke it. So once we replaced this with the USA gear, we no longer had any issues. However, I still thought that any factory gear was a potential weak spot. So I, there's companies who make uh, billet versions of these cam gears. And so I got one of those and I was put it after UCC, I was, I was putting it in the engine and you'll, it wouldn't fit. You'll notice on the stock gear, there's relief here that, um, that's these bolts that hold the gear case to the block. They don't interfere with the cam. On a billet cam, it's pretty much solid. So I went to put it in, and I couldn't turn it because the bolts were hitting the cam gear. So it became apparent we needed to do a different style of, of uh, fastener. So we have now machined these to take this style of bolt so it can be flush. So now you can... You can put that in, it's flush, and your billet cam gear can fit here, no problem. Another thing that I wanted to do was one time I had to swap a pump. And so when you take a pump off, you know, you have the gear, stays in your gear case, and you have the cover here. And when I put a new pump in, it was different. I could not use my adjustable gear to get it right. I had to actually move a few teeth on the, of the gear on the cam to get it right. And that was a pain because that means I had to pull off the cover. And that means you have to pull off the dampener. So you can't pull off the dampener or the cover without pulling off the dampener. So off the dampener comes, off the cover comes. It's all at a race. And so it took a lot of time. So I wanted to do a huge monster cutout where you can actually pull the gear in and out of the cover. So now if you have to swap pumps for some reason, pop off the cover, pull out your adjustable gear, put the new one in, it's fast. So I wanted to have that as well. Um, everything on this is O-ring sealed, O-ring here, so it's nice if you have to pop it off. If you do have to pop it off, there's no gasket to clean up, just pops off and put it right back on with the O-ring seal. So you see that there are two different colors here. We have a black anodized version, the raw aluminum. Now you don't have to do black. If you want a different color, we're happy to do that for you. But it is quite expensive to anodize this much material, so just realize it's quite a bit more to do this than just the raw aluminum version. These two are identical other than the color. So 
Another thing I like is, uh, I, and I'm, we're not the only people to do this, but having a, a removable um, crank seal. This goes right here, and, and it's O-ring as well. Everything on this is O-ringed. Everything on this works really well. We've had, this is the third variation. It took us three tries to get it right. That's why we haven't put these on sale yet. But now they're done, and now they're ready to go, and these are awesome. So if you need to put a P-pump on a 6-7 block, a common rail base block, this is a good way to do it. Um, a lot of guys out there are doing this, and this makes it really easy. So if you have any questions about this, give us a call. We're happy to help you out, have you any questions, you get one of these on your truck. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.